Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the hour where I'm nerding out because I promised you guys something and I got it. So, before I say any of that, I'm gonna try to remember. Go click all the buttons, like, subscribe, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a stranger. Do it for Lou. Hi, Lulu. I got Dave to come out and shear sheep today. True professional. The video I put that in, I said, uh, the guy's been shearing sheep since he could hold a pair of sheep shears. He works with the OSU sheep team. They bring class to his farm every year and they teach you how to shear. 75 or 100 bucks for three days. And that includes food. All the sheep you can shear in those three days. And if you want to practice, 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 or just do a couple and go home or whatever. So that's a phenomenal program helping to create shears. So he's coming today and I'm nerding out about it. So I got everything set up. Get the generator there. Cause the man needs electric. Hi babies. Hi ladies. I think we're gonna do it on the porch. Not quite sure whatever he wants to do. Or we can do it in this cubby right here by the door. That's plenty of space. It's also well confined. We do it there. Nobody can really run away. I'll just kick all the goats outside on the porch. You have some hay on you, Custard. <laughs> You're so adorable. These are the sheep. This is Pez. Hi, Pez. I don't have cookies. You know only mommy gives you cookies. So we have Pez, little mama, Miss Ellie, and Friday. I know you still want a cookie. So the sheep have been, I I'm just going to call it dry lotted. I don't know what the technical term is. They can't be sheared when they're wet. Nobody's going to do that for you. It's nasty. The wool just, you know, holds that water in there. I mean, even on a normal day when it, if it rains, they don't care. They go out in the rain and it usually takes them a couple days to dry. They haven't been rained on this week, but it is raining today and we knew it was going to rain today. So we stalled them last night. They were dry, but one of the things the shearers like is for you to not feed them, not water them and not have them be in the rain. You're setting them up on their butt and if they have a full belly then that's squishing out everywhere it makes it harder to shear around it's not even been 24 hours since they had a drink a little bit of dehydration goes a long way in tightening the skin up a little bit so empty belly a little bit of dehydration dry wool so they've been in their stall since 9 30 p.m last night and today ladies you're gonna get cleaned up and look pretty this one's gonna blow your mind little mama and i don't know what she's coming across on camera looks brown to me but she is pure black so when he cuts that outer layer of wool off she is a gorgeous gorgeous pure black the black just fades in the sun black wool also isn't good for much except for making black and you can't mix it with your white when you send that to the wool processor they want it in a separate bag separated from the white the white wool they can clean they can process and and they can dye it any color they want it. The black wool, it's either black or as you can see on her, has that uh, that rusty brown look to it. So they don't really want it. All right, that's enough of me blabbering on for 10 minutes. Dave is on his way. We'll get back to you when he gets here. So let's shear some sheep. That's hard to say. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. Dave is here, the Dave. He said he's never done a YouTube before. I've never interviewed anyone before. So this might get, <laughs> bear with me. Oh, just keep him in my sight. Driving stuff to the creek, yeah. Stay straight between the fences and you'll be good. You still doing uh, work with OSU? Uh, we just do the sharing school. The sharing school? Yeah, because we didn't have any last year because of COVID, but we're having one this year. Oh, it's a little later in the year? Yeah. Is that when you normally do your second round? Yeah, usually April and September. I think I, I came in April when we, when I was there. So we just have to figure out wherever you want to shear. Okay. If you want to do it on the porch, or there's this spot here. Where's the sheep at? There. Uh, hey, light. I, I share right here. I just a little bit more light. I do not have light. We'd have no electric in the barn. All right, ladies, you're gonna do it on the porch and have fun. <laughs> so what's uh, what, what's kind of just your YouTube channel? Farm, what you're doing with farm hair stuff? Yeah, farm stuff. Um, mostly goats. Uh -huh. I don't really focus on the sheep. That was right before our kidding season. Uh -huh. So I just started out with like a li just a little farm tour. And then we did baby watch, which was any mom that was mm -hmm. close to birth. We, we did like a little profile on her. We also do videos for our soap that we make. So we make goat milk soap. Oh, really? So we milk these ladies, use their milk to make soap. That's cool. Do craft shows and things like that. Stuff. Yeah, it's been going really well. Um, I'm kind of fascinated. I'm a little late bloomer on this technology stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Facebook Me too. Well. Everything else. <laughs> I think it's, I'm not, I watch YouTube every night. Oh, do you really? Oh, yeah. If they're on the farm, if I want to buy something or, or check something out. Have uh, you watched us? No, I have not. <laughs> but I, I do uh, I do watch a, a lot of it. Yeah, and we do too. And a lot of it's informational for us. Yeah. Uh, when we got into goats, there's a, a few really good channels that we watch that we like because we 
feel like they know their stuff. When I got a new idea about something on the farm, I always push it right? on YouTube. Usually someone's already done it. Yep. I say, oh, I, I like that. Yeah, you would think, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's out there. If you if you need it, somebody's done it. Well, I'm going to set up right through my rug okay. right here. I can sweep this hay out of the way if you want. Come on, girls. Hey, clean me. Come on. You ever watch any of Sandy Brock? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Actually, I guess that's what got me started on YouTube. I've never heard of it until one of my kids said, you gotta watch this girl. Yeah, she's amazing. She yeah. does her stuff. The last couple of years, we've actually kind of some of her ideas. Yeah. Now, do you do your own breeding, or do you just still ship in from... Well, I got 100 views. That's what we do, I do, and my son does 3,000 head of uh, feeder lambs. Okay, so he does the feeder lambs. Yeah. They ship in from out west? Out west, uh, Texas, South Dakota, California. Okay. Most of them around here. So, so you feed them up, shear them, medicate them, and then ship them back out? Yep, I do all the shearing for them, so... Nice. And anytime you want to grab the camera, just do it. <laughs> so I try to put the generator as far away from the door as I possibly could. Well, I want to here face this way. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll try to turn a little bit here, but I'll kind of face this Mostly direction. this way, okay. Oh, that's good. That's really good light, actually. All right, here it goes. <laughs> I find this fascinating, completely fascinating. The skill level. They got that fat little belly. Pooches out there. Now, when I roll her up like that, she doesn't lay there calm like that. It's just experience that Dave has of controlling the sheep and she knows that he's in control. <laughs> so she's a breeder and that black one's a breeder. Okay. So don't nip anything off. <laughs> Yeah, they're getting a little off the thick nose. That's not all I'm calling this time of year. That's the first ones I've seen this year. It's just from uh, urine scald? Yeah, they get the, the wet wool, dirty wool. They haven't heard anything yet, they, they will.
So right now he has his left foot under her front shoulder blade and it just kind of like immobilizes her. Yeah, that'd be good. I know. Usually just the air, the sunshine. Dry it off there. Okay. So when I was at shearing school with Dave, something that stuck in my head, because you call them hair sheep, right? What's that? For meat? No, hair sheep's a whole, they don't have wool. Okay. Yeah, our sheep all got wool. I'm okay. Wool. So I'm pretty sure we were cutting meat sheep, right? We right. were we were shearing meat sheep. Yep. And I, it was a male, and I cut one of his teats off, which, you know, is not necessarily something he needs. But besides that fact, he's going to the meat market, so... He definitely doesn't need it. And then I no more than went on my second pass and cut the other one off. And Dave said to me, there's nothing I haven't cut off a sheep. That's right. I mean, when you're cruising along, it's like you nick something and man, those shears would just take it off like your finger. I think one of the guys said that when a professional shear cuts a lamb, it's bad because they're moving so fast. I'm going really slow. If I nick one, like I, I nicked as the sheep he just did, I nicked her once on, on her side and it took a little football shape right off her side but it, it was it was very tiny uh but healed right up all right we're gonna get ready for round two or the other day was sharing a couple what he was talking about them. i think you're right it's like they're lacking power yeah uh do you watch the sheep game i have with cammy i don't follow up i don't fall very close but i've seen it yeah he's a little hard to understand when you, yeah when you start off you get five or ten videos in well, I've, I've watched sandy for two or three years <laughs> really yeah I, I like the management stuff and yeah a lot of times we'll sit down on the evening and bitch watch three or four oh yeah yeah up, she's so. she's got her stuff together man so nobody like shearing the baby dolls? No. And they're hairy everywhere. The short and the oh yeah, stocky. These are uh, these ain't so bad. I short something the other day, could be the next.
are fat. You think they're ever fat? <laughs> they're, they're plenty fat. We do a half a cup of grain in the morning, which is corn, oat, uh, sheep and goat pellet, and then they have hay all day, oh. and then the same half a cup at night. Are they all grass? Yeah. They don't eat anything. They don't eat any grain, any any of that stuff. They're, they're Would you do grain. like supplements or anything? Mineral. Mineral supplement? I, I keep free choice mineral from everything. But okay, so we have that too. Turn them out there and let them go. The type of sheep they are, the baby dolls, they're a smaller frame. So they kind of put on fat easy. I, in my opinion, they don't eat any grain at all. You heard it from the man himself. <laughs> all right, now come the chunky girls. Yeah, she has no neck. <laughs> I remember her being the worst because the other one's almost like her, the big white one. She's seven, she's five. The two small ones are three, I think. They're all in good shape, but they're a little, little heavy. Oh, they're a little chunky. I'm gonna go pop that generator off. I know I'm all fangirling all over this, but uh, <laughs> no, Dave is awesome. He's a super humble guy. He's local, which matters to us. Nobody likes to shear baby doll, apparently, because they're chunky, they're short, and they're wooly everywhere. Hi, ladies, you look much prettier. I'm gonna have to trim up your faces, I think, but other than that, good for a year. Dave, <laughs> Sean. Of course, we already know that. Ohio State University sheep team comes out to your farm once a year? Yeah, do shearing schools. Do shearing school, uh, so if you're local, Just I don't know. Just get a hold of uh, OSIA, High Sheep Crew Association, and Roger High, and uh, he can set you up. Next one's in uh, September. What he said. <laughs> Thanks, man, appreciate yep. it. Yep, thank you. Have a good one. You too. There's the uh, wool blend. That's four baby dolls, so that's a pretty decent take. Wool is virtually worthless at this point. I couldn't even give it away. I was hoping to find like some crafters or something, or, but man, no. By the time you pay the shear and you pay to process it, you're losing money, especially with the black wool. I'm gonna get this bagged up, let the sheep out, let the goats in, call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Go click all the buttons, like, subscribe, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a stranger. Peace out.